My name's Jesse Lee. Uh, you can call me hashtag boss Lee. Call me people's mentor. Just don't call me Jesse. I don't know, it's not my name. <laughs> What's up YouTube, it's Jesse Lee, and call me hashtag boss Lee, and I hope you love the video you're about to see. I'm pretty sure you will, because it's always content over here. I wanna tell you about a couple other things, specifically one that you can also get some more value from, and all you need to do, and you can do it now, just pause this video, is go ahead and text YouTube to 844-277-9762. I'm gonna be really upping the text game, and it's literally me texting you back. So if you wanna have a more one-on-one -on -one conversation with me, enjoy the video, subscribe, comment below, and make sure you text YouTube again to 844-277-9762. But I'm excited to be on here because I feel like Corona's got some of you probably feeling some type of way. I feel like some of you are not understanding how powerful this time is for you in your business. Um, and I, I'm just excited. I'm here to add value. I'm not here to sell you anything. I'm just here to get y'all pumped up. Now, the one thing is I love cameras on because I feed off your energy. So the more you react, the more I will react back and then I'll be funnier. I mean, I'm half Jim Carrey anyway, I think, but I love it. I love that there's like 94 Jessicas. So basically if I say Jessica, most of you will react. So I feel like it's just <laughs> half the screen just like went like this. Yes, full extension. Emily's like, my name's not Jessica, but that's fine. Uh, but yeah, like, there's, there's a lot of y'all in here and I love it. So I'm gonna jump in. I wanna. I I want to talk a little bit about some consistency, some drive, which I think is going to be useful right now given, you know, the virus, right? We've been cooped up for a few months and some of you might be at that point where you're like, I mean, Jesus, take the wheel. Like how many prayers do I need to get rid of this anxiety would be great. Um, and then just in general, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I honestly come into things like this and I, I have intentions of what I'll say and that's not always what God has planned for me. I don't know if you're a believer or not, but I feel like God speaks through me and then some, someone on here is just gonna go, oh my gosh, that call was literally for me. So I'm pumped for that and let's get started. So I might get into a little bit of my background, but before I do any of that, I will just say, y'all, consistency is everything in this. And I know you're told that constantly and you're like, I'm over it, give me new training. No. No faith, I'm not giving you new training. Let me tell you something, it is so true. The reason why I am wildly successful is because you're looking at a nine year overnight success. And so how dare you have the audacity to compare your chapter, whatever chapter you're on, to my chapter 40 or whatever it is. How dare you be hard on yourself? I have been the most consistent person I've ever met for the last nine years not an exaggeration. If you want results that make you have your entire life changed, I am telling you it is the battle of consistency. And nobody on here actually has a consistency problem. Some of you have passion problems, but you don't have consistency problems. Uh, those of you who follow me are like, I knew she was gonna say that. I knew, I knew, I knew she was gonna say that. Okay, look, well, yeah, I was gonna say that, Brandy, because y'all are all consistent people. You can't tell me you're not consistent because every day you wake up and you don't forget to breathe and you don't forget to eat and you don't forget to go to sleep and you don't forget to go to the bathroom. You don't forget to be a parent. You don't forget to go to your job that you hate. Those of you with jobs that you hate and you still go to the job that you hate. Okay, yes, I know you do. It's okay, it's fine. You don't have a consistency problem. You probably went to school for 12 years or more and you didn't really like it and you still went. You still ran the stupid mile that like every month you gotta run the mile or whatever it is. Like how many of you pretended to be sick that day? I was just chronically ill on mile day. I don't know what it was every time, you know? Like, oh geez, I'm ill again, again. It just came down upon me. All right, I don't know what the deal was, you know? I was just not athletic, so I, I don't know. I was. I was literally slower than the kids that were walking. I don't know how that's a thing. I have very small legs, maybe that's why. I don't know, but I'm just saying. Like, it was a, it's a passion thing. So what are you passionate about, my sisters? I don't know what gets you up. I don't know what makes you want to do your business. I don't know why you even signed up in this company. I don't know, but you have to figure out what you're passionate about. And some of you are like, I don't know. Like, some of these people are moms, where's my mama's? You know, I, I, that one I don't understand. Corinne's got mom life across her, so I knew that one, right? But it's like, I don't understand why everybody's not excited that is a mom, first of all. Like, if I had babies, I'm, I'm literally playing so consistently because there are babies in my future that are gonna be so stupid proud of their mom. They're gonna be like, my mom, y'all can't, they're gonna go to school and like 
accidentally talk crap about other moms, but they're really just trying to gas up their mom. You know what I mean? They're like, no, you don't understand. My mom is a boss. Like my mom, oh, your mom, oh, that's cool. But my mom's way better. Like I'm just preparing for my children to have like this chip on their shoulder, you know, like, no, but really my mom is the bomb. So my mom, oh no, sorry. We won't be able to be in school today because my mom wants to take us to Fiji because my mom is a boss. Okay, like that's what I'm, I'm, I'm going for right now, right? Like, oh, like, okay, hold on. Tangent, tangent time. How many of you have gone to Target to escape over the last couple of weeks? Okay, because like I'm not even a Target person really, mostly because I'm so introverted. I just don't leave the house. But I have been escaping to Target, like uh, Target, you know, whatever you want to call it, okay? And I went to the back wall at Target to find a puzzle the other day. And there are these cars. Like, you know the kids' cars? Do any of your kids have those cars? You know what I mean? Like, that the kids can get in? Like, there was a G-Wagon at Target, okay? And I kept it in like a John Deere tractor, which like spoke to my soul because I grew up in poverty in a really small country town in Maryland. And I was like, that John Deere green, let's go. All right, but like there were tractors and there were like Escalades and G-Wagons and little like hot pink Jeeps. And I just kind of thought to myself, man, I didn't even think to myself, I said it out loud because it's me. I was like, my God, I would have probably, if I was a child that had any kind of violence in me, I probably would have like fought somebody for one of those things, you know? I've never even like, I've never even slapped anyone. I don't even know how to be mad at people. I'm not good at this kind of anger thing. I'm much better at happiness and peace. But like, I mean, those things are so cool. And I kept thinking to myself, like my babies, if, like they gotta be good kids. I can't have rotten little things. But like the life I can provide to my future children because of my consistency today. And so to those of you who raised your hand and you're like, yes, I'm a mama. Like, if that doesn't get you going, my friend, like, go outside, get some vitamin D, the sun you do not have to socially distance yourself from, like, walk back inside, do a couple jumping jacks, sing some hallelujahs, read the Bible, I don't know what you like to do, recenter yourself, and then get back to it. Because there are so many little eyeballs on you, and kids do not listen to what you say. Anyone noticed before? <laughs> Okay, that's what I thought. Jenna's like, yes, what is wrong with them? Do their ears not work? I don't know. She's like, I take them to the ear, throat, and nose doctor all the time. Like, their ears are fine, right? They got selective hearing, okay? Uh, I will just tell you, they watch your feet. They watch what you do. You know, I'm very blessed to have beautiful God children, and I love it. My little four-year-old God baby, Madeline, she is the first one to want to get on live. She tells people to drop unicorns in the comments. She's the one who's like, we need to go live today, Jesse E. I'm like, oh, we're, oh, you right. We do need to go live today, right? She's very involved. Those kids are watching everything you do. So I don't know, again, who's the mama on here, but I'm telling you, you need to you need to find out why you're doing something. And I've I've done a lot of trainings on whys. I would just say get ugly with it. Like if you say I'm doing this business because I want to make a thousand dollars a month, okay, Tina, but why? Right? Oh well, you know because I would like to be able to take my husband on date nights. Okay, but why? Well, because I'm worried that my marriage is going to get really, really boring if all we're doing is we're too broke to do anything and so we stay at home and watch TV. Okay, but why? Because that's my life partner. I said I do to him, better or worse, richer or poorer, like I'm sick of being poor. Oh, okay. Right? Like, if you keep asking yourself why, maybe you got to do it seven times to get down to it, but you better figure out what you're playing for. You better figure out what you're showing up for because that will drive you to do so much more than what you're doing right now. And this is the season of action. I don't know how else to explain it to you. Like, I know all of a sudden a bunch of you are homeschoolers, right? Now all of a sudden you're teachers, right? And you're like, nope, I have less time. I understand that. Involve your children, figure something out because there has never been a better time to sit at your computer or on your phone and hammer stuff out. People's attention span on their telephone has never been better. And I know there are people on this call that, you know, even just a few months ago were probably one foot out of business, the other foot on a banana peel. You were ready to whoop, get on out of here. And like, it's like coronavirus hit and you like turn the banana around and now you slid back into business. Perfect. 
Perfect, my sister friends. I love that. I don't care why you're here today. I don't care why you decided to lead yourself to this call. And by the way, I will say you are a leader if you got yourself here because there are a lot of people who could be on a call and y'all showed up. So if somewhere in you, you doubt yourself, somewhere in you, you say, I don't think I'm good enough. You are enough. You showed up on a leadership call. You showed up so you can learn how to better your business and be a better business owner, mom, friend, boss, whatever it is. Don't ever say you're not enough. Because I will tell you, this can be so, this is so weird for some people to believe because I, I speak with such conviction and I speak with so much passion. You have to understand this is the reps. This is the consistency. You have to understand I was the girl that went to elementary school, middle school, and high school and sat alone every single day at lunch. I had no friends because I was the mo I was probably the poorest family in my entire town. Literally. So I'm always made fun of. I made fun of because what's in my lunch. I made fun of because my clothes don't fit. I made fun of because my dad's in jail. I made fun of because, I mean, I was made fun of for everything. And so if you, if I can sit here millions and millions and millions of dollars later, y'all, why not you? It has to come from you though. There has to be something inside you that says enough is enough. I break generational curses because that was the generational curse of my family. There, nobody's successful. Anyone relate to this? I don't know. No one's successful. It's bad after bad after bad. We grow up in, in trailer parks and we're a farm family and whatever. Like I had enough of that crap. Like I had enough of waiting for my mom to come back from the grocery store on Sundays with the rotisserie chicken, you know, the pre-made one that's literally $5, okay? It's, um, on Sundays, they're cheaper because they're about to expire. And that was to literally feed my family of six. I have three siblings, so I'm number, f I'm, I'm, I'm three of four, and my mom and my dad the whole week. That was our protein. So I don't know why some of you are doing it, but I can tell you, it took me a long time to find a why. It didn't take me too long to find a why not to work this business. Because no, money's not going to make your life. I mean, money, it, I, I'm not going to lie to you. Money makes your life better. Okay. Like in different ways though. Because for me, my ability to give back speaks to my soul. My ability to donate to my church speaks to my soul. My, my ability to adopt a lot of animals. Like I don't have them all in my house, but like I pay for a lot of adoptions for animals. Speaks to my heart, my ability to give back to my community. I'm obsessed with the way I can give, 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 give. That's, I, I don't care. Make a million dollars and give it all away. I don't care. But you have to understand that money is power. And if you are a good person and you're on this call, it's not, there is nowhere in that Bible that says that money is the root, uh, that, that money is the root of all evil. That is not what it says. It's the love of money. So get yourself more powerful. It will only magnify who you are as a person. If you're a good person, you're going to be a more powerful good person. If you're a crappy person, exit the Zoom, okay? Podcast, Zoom, whatever, over, okay? It's no longer working, does not compute, okay? Like some of us have this weird fear because we came from nothing, but I'm here to tell you that this is a quote that changed my whole life when I heard it probably 11 years ago. It's a Bill Gates quote and love him or hate him, he's got good quotes, okay? He says, it's not your fault if you're born poor, but it is your fault if you die poor. And I don't know why that hit me straight between the eyes, but I remember every family reunion, it's like the family would always talk about like, well, this is just how we are. This is how our family is. This is what we do. But I'm over it, friends. You joined a network marketing opportunity. You raised your hand and said enough. Step into that. Step into that. You have the most powerful business opportunity that is out there with the smallest overhead possible. I'm telling you, take your business seriously, okay? Because if you want to accomplish your dreams, you have to get up on them. You have to, and you have to take them seriously. And so I'll just tell you, like some of you just need to take that moment to just breathe. I think too many of you are probably guns blazing, work, 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 work. If I don't take the 10 minutes, I know this sounds ridiculous, but if I don't take the 10 minutes between calls to literally step outside, do a little meditation, do a little self-talk, gather myself, calm myself down. I cannot sell as well. 
And I'm a monster, y'all, okay? I literally personally retail over 60,000 points a month. That's like $100,000 in personal sales a month. No joke. I have not recruited less than 20 people a month in nine years, okay? I'm, a, I'm an actual cyborg is what the team calls me, okay? But it's because I keep my energy high. It's because I keep myself around good people. It's because I, I do things like this, actually, that fill my cup. I cannot pour from an empty cup and neither can you. Some of you need the permission right now that I'm going to give you to go take a freaking bath. Like, please go read a book. People ask me all the time, where does your training come from? Your trainings are just invaluable. Your trainings are just, because oh! when I do skill-based training, uh, y'all, I mean, I am a skill-based, methodical, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this, make money kind of person. But I feel like that's not necessarily what you need right now. I say that to tell you, I know I'm good, but you know what I'm better at? I pick up books, tons and tons of books. I'm surrounded by books right now. I'm, al I'm always reading because it calms me down and it gives me creative ideas. I love it. I can pour into you more. And if you're not a reader, listen, first of all, leaders are readers, okay? Poor people have big TVs, rich people have big libraries. It's a fact, write it down, <laughs> all right? But the other thing is that that's where you're gonna get your, 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 your information from. I had no idea how to sell nine years ago. I joined a network uh, direct sales company. I did belly to belly business for four and a half years. And I will tell you, this is not a joke, okay? I picked up a book, and this is totally free. I have literally nothing to sell you. You can just go to jessieleeward.com slash book list. Most of my favorite books are on there. One of the books on there is called, hold on, what is it called? Uh, How to Be a Sales Superstar or something like that by Chet Holmes. And I am telling you, that book changed everything for me. I tore that book apart. It's still in my, it's still in my kitchen right now, actually, because I was going back through it. I was writing notes in the book. I was like, how can this apply to my network marketing business? More of you need to do that. You need to get around it. You need to start really getting involved in the energy of your team and in the energy of what's going on and understand you're not just some direct seller. You're actually a business owner now. Treat it like such. You don't want your upline. I know some of you have uplines on here, right? You don't want Taylor going, mm, see how I developed Nicole? It's all me. Oh, I know she makes $20,000 a month. Now it's because of me, right? But you're so quick. You're so quick to be like, oh my God. Oh my God. I am failing in my business because my upline did not help me. If you're not gonna give them credit for your success, do not give them credits for your failures. Oh, I know that hurts feelings when I say it because it's so easy to cop out and blame your upline. It is not your upline's fault. Just like it's not your upline's success to talk about. Your upline has no business saying, ooh, may I, I developed Michaela into a $100,000 a year earner. Shut up! Michaela developed herself into it. She's the one who showed up to training. She's the one who read books. She's the one who did her makeup in a, in a Instagram story, Facebook story, get ready with me every morning on her Facebook Live. It wasn't you, Jessica. I don't know who anybody's sublines are. <laughs> right? Like, that's not true. But don't let, don't, don't get, don't let yourself get off easy. Oh, well, yeah, that thing, it didn't work. You know, like, yeah, the products were okay, but like nobody wanted them. What are you talking about? I don't, like, I literally don't know what you're talking about if you think nobody wants makeup, skincare, hair care right now. You are crazy. Everyone looks like some version of an under the bridge troll right now. We have no eyelashes left. Our eyebrows look like Chewbacca has taken over our homes. And I own a wax kit, God bless it. Cause y'all, it'd be like unibrow Lee up in here. Y'all would be really concerned. You'd be like, that girl makes a million dollars. I really don't believe it. She is hideous. All right, so like everyone's hair is dirty. Hasn't had like a blow dryer touch it in a coon's age. Like where are the nails? Don't know, not able to show you those. People are like, I, like, God bless your BB cream, your primer, your freaking contour kit, and your foundation. I'm just gonna, and your, I got your little spray, your setting spray. Thank God. Because I don't look like a troll, okay? You people are sick of looking like trolls. So I'm just telling you, you wanna attract more people to this, you better start putting yourself out there. You better start getting your, I don't know why. If I, I'm really good at makeup, just like a little side thing. I do like the special effects makeup. I do all this stuff, but I don't sell makeup. So I don't know, what is with people? Is it therapeutic for them? Like if I go live and I'm like, I'm just gonna do my makeup, they will sit 
and they will stare at me for I can take an hour and a half and that sucker will have 250 people sitting on there. What is wrong with people? We're that bored. But people love it. If you can learn how to throw little things like, by the way, if you want this, just drop info below, I'll message you. When you're painting your face, I'm just telling you, you're gonna you're gonna get a lot more action, a lot more. All right, hold on, I gotta give y'all another product because I feel like y'all aren't even excited. I'm more excited about your product than you are. I don't understand what's happening here. That's fine, whatever. Y'all better watch out if I ever join you. I'm gonna destroy all of you. I'm kidding, but like I'm so competitive, I would have to. Like it's just, I mean, I would destroy in a good way. I wouldn't hurt you, but like I I would crush all the things. Okay, so like <laughs> I mean it in a loving way. I'm just very competitive. I don't know why. Y'all, like, I would make a million dollars in your company, no income claims, but I really would, based off of only your liquid eyeliner. Watch me. Y'all need to, I don't know what you need to do if you need to draw on somebody. I don't know what you need to do, but y'all are not using your pro. You can wing, you can do a nasty wing with that liquid eyeliner. And I mean, I I have so much makeup, I, it looks like I, I don't know, I have too much, it's crazy, it's a problem. Most of those things get like stuck on your eyeball, then it leaves like little like and then it sticks to your eyelid, like other formulas are just absolute trash. So I'm just letting you know, y'all got some good stuff and there is hardly nothing on the internet about your company. So y'all need to start getting louder cause I'm concerned. I'm concerned cause your products are so good and y'all are being so quiet about it. So this idea of nobody wants them, it's cause no one knows who you are. Cause you're so scared of what? Is someone gonna look at your face? Okay, first of all, they're looking anyway. Second of all, it's your face. You've looked at it every day of your life. Third of all, nobody is judging you. Like I am, I'm actually loving the fact that I'm looking around the Zoom. Brandy did her makeup. Jessica and Jessica did their makeup. Faith full on contour, like she looks dewy and beautiful. Jennifer's got a red lip, she's all done up. Like Alyssa looks like she, I just went for a natural look today. Okay, whatever. Cindy is all done up. Who did you do your makeup for? Corinne, okay? Right, you thought you did it for me, no. No, 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 you really didn't because you actually haven't, I'm almost done. You actually have not even looked at me this whole time. You've actually been staring at yourself. Oh, you think I don't know. Okay, you have. You literally are only judging yourself. That's how Zoom works. You're like, everyone's judging me. Nobody's judging you. you literally, it's you, okay? Nobody's judging you. So if you can get over the fact that you only have to get over yourself, you can attract so many powerful people into your business, but not if you're quiet and not if you're like, I'm a private person. No, you're not. You're just trying to keep things private because you like to keep your bank information private too because it's probably not a number you want to show off. It's like an emergency phone number like 911, okay? Or zero if you're Australian. I don't know where y'all are from, okay? Like you need to start showing more of who you are if you want to attract more people to you. So I am totally out of time, but I really enjoyed your energy. I really enjoyed this. And I am telling you, I am telling you, I don't speak from, oh, I think it's, no, no, no. This is all based off of experience. And I promise you the one thing you need to do if you want to be more attractive to people is you need to utilize passion. Passion. I literally could join, I don't know why I keep saying literally, literally. I could join your company today and destroy everyone's sales not knowing anything about anything. I know y'all like to talk about how there's not many chemicals. No one cares. People are literally spraying their children with Lysol right now, wondering why they're taking their kids to the CDC, okay? They don't care. I care, you care, no one else cares, okay? So stop talking about that and start talking about how your products are incredible because they are. And when you win, I don't want credit for it. I want you to take credit for it, but I do wanna know. So feel free to message me and reach out. I love you guys, I appreciate you guys. And I know that's so weird for some of you because you're like, girl, I don't even know you, but I feel like I love you too. Look, people hate people for no reason. So I'm gonna love you for no reason. And as we get to know each other, we can give each other a million reasons to love each other. God bless every single one of you. I will hopefully talk to you soon. Bye guys.